Even in this day and age, there are still regions in the world in which women do not have the same rights as men. Even in the most prominent institutions, women and men do not have access to the same kinds of opportunities. However, why? It is the year 2022, and we are developing out of our universe. Why aren't they still treated with respect? Why is it that in some countries their sole purpose in life is to bring a new generation into the world? Why do they still have such a hard time discussing their health in a straightforward manner? Why they are not even part of some big sports? You won't believe it when you find out. In the sports of basketball, golf, soccer, baseball, and tennis, male athletes make 15 to 100% more money than their female counterparts. What accounts for this disparity? Do we as the audience help to create it? Because organizations with authority over sports are making efforts in this direction, and because Formula One racing is a new name that can be added to this list. If you want to know what is going on inside regarding this decision, stay with F1 Global, where you can get all the latest updates about Formula One racing. So let's get started, but before we do that, don't forget to hit that bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Recently, CEO Stefano Domenicali says that it is very unlikely that a woman will drive an F1 in the next five years. Isn't it exciting for you all female F1 fans? Till now, you only used to watch the racing. You cheers for the male driver to win, but now you will also be on the track and compete for your team too? This year, the all-female W Series, which was created to pave the way for women to compete in Formula One, is providing support for a few of the events on the Formula One calendar. Jamie Chadwick, a driver for the Williams Academy, is in a strong position to win the series for the third year in a row. Despite her recent success, however, she has had trouble raising the necessary funds to secure a race seat in the Formula 3 feeder series. Dominic Alley stated that Formula 1 is committed to finding a female driver but does not believe it will happen until there is more clarity regarding the path for women. Dominic Alley said in a media call ahead of Belgian Grand Prix, It's a point that we're really working on because we believe it's really crucial at this moment to try to give the maximum possibility to women to come to Formula 1. This something we're really dedicated to. We are attempting to gain an understanding of how we can properly prepare the appropriate pyramid in order for the girls to enter the pyramid at the appropriate age with the appropriate vehicle. This is the most important point. We are very happy with the collaboration with W Series, but we believe that in order to be able to give girls the chance to be at the same level of competition as the guys, they need to be more or less at the same age where they can fight on the track at the level of Formula 3 and Formula 2. Consequently, they are working on that to determine what it is that they can do to make the system better, and you will soon see some action taken in that regard. But Domenicali said, What I can say on the other hand is that realistically speaking, I do not see a girl coming into Formula One in the next five years. This is unless there will be something that will be like some sort of meteorite coming into the earth. To be honest with myself, I don't see that happening at all. But we want to build up the right pyramid with the right approach, step by step, for them to start racing against the guys at the right age with the right car. This will allow them to get the most out of their experience. That is in fact the focus of our efforts right now. Susie Wolf, a former test driver for Williams who made four practice appearances for the team during the 2014 and 2015 seasons, came the closest to breaking the record for the longest wait for a female driver in Formula One during the past decade. Despite this, she was never promoted to a seat in the Formula One racing series and she retired shortly thereafter. So these are the things that are very common in sports, whether that is soccer, golf, basketball, or many more. You all know Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, and football. Can you tell a single female soccer legend who got such a big name as these players got? We have Michael Jordan in basketball and Garry Kasparov in chess, but there isn't a female equal to either of them. This is gender inequality which we have to eradicate from our sports, and in this mission audience will play a major role. They will have to support our girls. They will have to buy tickets and give their precious to uplift our girls. So it's time to really do the empowerment of females, this time not from social media, but directly from the sports field. That's all for today's video, F1 Freaks. Do like the video, comment how much you like the video, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.